Hello everyone, this is Jarle, guest designing for Heffy Doodle. I made this jungle themed card for a friend of mine and I want to show you how it came together. Let me start by showing you the items I used. I have this unbelievable stencil from Heffy. Then I also used the Chimply the Best stamp set with a few adorable monkeys and some fun sentiments. I also used a bunch of the Amazonian leaves die set and to frame my card I used a stitched rectangle frame. To die cut my banner I just used a regular sentiment banner die. I die cut a panel of Bristol Smooth cardstock which is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inch. I just temporarily adhered it to my station so I could do some stenciling and ink blending. I just placed my stencil on top of that panel with some magnets. The colors I used are Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio and Lucky Clover. So it will be a green monochromatic card. I always start with my lightest color and then blend to the medium and then to the darkest color. However, I want my darkest color to be in the middle of my card, so that's the Lucky Clover. So I actually go in with light at the top edge, then medium and then dark more to the middle of the card. And then I go back to medium and then back to light more towards the bottom edge of the panel. I always go over the different layers a couple of times just to get a very nice blend. Now, I have to say, Bristol Smooth cardstock is a really, really nice cardstock for ink blending. So if you're having a hard time blending, you should definitely try out this cardstock. The stencil did hold on nicely with just the magnets. It's not a super intricate stencil, so it holds nicely to the panel without shifting or whatsoever. When I removed the stencil, I found that the background was a bit too stark white. So I just used the same Distress Oxide colors to go over the whole background. Now, as you can see, I again used the Twisted Citron at the edges of the panel and the Lucky Clover in the middle. And now to blend those two together, I used the Cracked Pistachio. To add a little bit of interest, I splattered on some white gouache on the background. I took some paint on my station and added a little bit of water. Then I just tapped my paintbrush to get some fine splatters. It actually took me a while to get all the splatters on there. In fact, you see me here um, switching to a larger paintbrush and that also kind of helped. Um, I took some more white paint, then I added a little bit more water just to get all the splatters that I wanted to. Here you can see the finished background panel. I kind of like how this turned out in the end. I die cut a bunch of Amazonian leaves. I think I cut all of them about eight times. Four out of a true green cardstock and then four out of a yellow green cardstock. Now I always like to ink blend my die cuts. It gives them a little bit more shadow and I really like that look. So I use the Lucky Clover ink on top of the green leaves and then for the yellow green ones I use the Cracked Pistachio for a few and the Lucky Clover for a few others. Here you see me trying out the placement of my sentiment, the stamps and the leaves. This gives me a better idea on which images I want to stamp out later. I stamped my images with my Misty and my MFT black ink on some Transotype Perfect coloring paper, since I was going to be doing some Copic coloring. I think I stamped all my images twice just to get a super black impression. Off camera I already colored a few of my images. For the leaves I used G29, G17 and G02. For the branch I used E18, E15 and E13. On camera you will see me using the E57 there, but I made a little mistake there. For the cute monkeys I used E57, E55 and E53 and for their face I used E53, E51 and E50. 
When I'm doing Copic coloring, I start out with my darkest shade, then I blend it out with my medium shade, and I blend that one out with my lightest shade. I repeat this process two times, and this method always gives me the best results. I always like the blend that I get when I repeat it two times. So here you can see the finished coloring. Off camera I die cut four stitched frames and with some liquid glue I stack them on top of each other. This gives the frame a little bit of height and adds dimension to the card. You might already know that I'm a big, big fan of dimensional cards. So here you can see all four frames stacked on top of each other. Now on to the sentiment. I placed the panel of black cardstock in my Misty and then prepped it with my anti-static powder tool so that the embossing powder would only stick where I want it to. This really helps to get a better looking sentiment. I stamped the sentiment with Versamark ink and then I sprinkled on some white embossing powder. Off camera I also heat set it with my heat gun. Since it's always impossible for me to cut out a sentiment straight, I tend to use a banner die. This cuts out the sentiment in a nice way and then I just trimmed off the left and right edge to get a little rectangle piece. All that's left to do now is to assemble my card. First I played around a bit without adhering anything. Uh, this gives me more time to figure out the exact placement of all the die cuts and images. I started by adhering down my sentiment in the middle of the card with some foam squares. And then the monkey on the bottom was also adhered with foam squares. All the leaves and the monkeys at the top right corner was adhered with liquid glue. I glued down my frame at the end of this whole process. I saw that some leaves were overhanging my panel, so I just trimmed those off with scissors. Then I took out my ATG gun and placed my whole card panel onto a side folded card base. This is the way I like to do it, just to get everything on straight. And this kind of finishes off the card for today. I'm actually very pleased with the end result. I hope you like it as well and that you can get crafty with this stamp set very soon. If you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. I really hope to see you again. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!